All right, it's pretty hot in Houston. It's very humid. We had a lot of rain the other day, but I was making this video because uh, I have a food truck and sometimes you go out in the field, you have problems that go wrong with your generator. Maybe your breaker keeps tripping or, or something like that. But I'm going to show you how to bypass that breaker for the moment until you can get you another one to replace it. So first, only thing you have to do is take this panel off. And this is a power horse 11,000 watt generator, very good generator. I've been using it for six months now. And I only had a breaker trip a couple of times and I just bypassed it for the moment until I was able to figure out what the problem was. First, you take these four screws out, which is eight millimeters. So you got one, two, you got three, four. Then on the back side of this, you take this nut off, which goes on here. This pushes up and you just unscrew these nuts. So that shouldn't take no more than 10 minutes. Now, if you look at this, I got 35 amp breakers. I also have 20 amp breakers. So the only thing you got to do is come over here. I hope you can see it. This is one of my 35 amp breakers. And you see it just got two prongs on it. So the only thing you have to do is unscrew this one and unscrew this one and tie these two wires together. So you tie these two wires together and put some tape on it, electrical tape. And you can do this to any of your breakers. So you can, for instance, this one down here, it's a 35 amp. So you just take this and this is loose. You tie them together, put some tape on it. And you're good to go for a few hours until you get to a place to where you can get it fixed. This is just to get you out of a bind for the moment, but you don't want to leave it like that because that's dangerous. You could be running too many amps and you could burn the generator up and you could burn your whole unit up. So I hope this video will help. And you also have your 20 amps also. And you do basically the same thing. You take this wire off and this wire off, just tie them together, put some tape on it, and you're good to go. So I hope this video helped. Subscribe to my channel. I will be making more videos, and more helpful videos for you guys out there. So have a great day. Thank you.